He says, and do not for a moment, for a moment, be frightened or intimidated by anything, in anything. Now, listen. Anything could mean cancer. Anything could mean bloggers. Anything could mean landlord. Anything could mean dismissal letter. Anything could mean text message separating from you. Anything could mean witchcraft. Anything could mean anything. He says, do not read. For a moment be frightened or intimidated in anything by your opponents and adversaries. For such, listen, constancy and fearlessness. Underline the word constancy there. I'm coming. For such constancy, if you are constant or consistent in being fearless, he says, will be a clear sign, proof and seal to them, your enemies, of their impending destruction. But a short token and evidence of your deliverance and salvation and that he says from God. Oh, Rade Bradega. Listen. If they say that you have stage four cancer and you refuse to fear cancer, that is a sign, a clear sign and proof and seal to cancer that it must leave your body. It has ears. Did you get it? But how do you discipline your spirit to a place where you are constant? You are constantly walking fearless. Because life is a life of fears. Do you get what I'm saying? How did the devil kill all Job's children? And all his animals? And put affliction on him? This is Paul, Job saying himself. He says, and the thing that I greatly feared. It has come upon me. And that which I was afraid of is come unto me. The thing which I greatly feared is come upon me. Job used to look at his children and fear that they would die. Job look, used to look at his animals and wealth and fear that he will lose them. He used to look at his body his skin and say, hmm, I fear boils. Nobody was stronger than him in his realm, but he invited that sickness and death in his realm. When Satan goes before God, he only addresses what Job feared. He asks of God only where Satan, sorry, Job expressed fear. That's where he can touch. But the Bible says he was righteous. He was righteous. That's the difference between iniquity and transgression. Iniquity is immorality, wickedness, and evil deed. That's iniquity. Transgression is the breaking frustration of a certain law, a rule, or a norm. This law worked against Job. Have you regarded my servant who? Job. For there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escueth evil. 
Job was not evil. But he transgressed. There's a law he broke. Man was never designed to live in fear. But Job says, the thing that I greatly feared. Before God, God would not say, Job has sinned. He hasn't sinned. But, he walked in fear. He broke a law. He transgressed. He was not designed, meant to walk in fear. But the thing which he greatly feared is come upon him. And that which he was afraid of him is come unto him. Why is it that what he feared is what the devil wanted to touch. Because he always knew that this was Job's fear. Guard your spirit. In guarding your spirit, be very careful what you confess. Be very careful what you hear. And be very careful how you think. If your thought process is right, your confession is right, and you have the right teachers, you're guarded. Sometimes somebody can start narrating a story. Do you know what happened to these people? Then they start negative, and I said, please. I don't want to hear. Let's go to the point. I don't want to hear certain things because I don't want to disturb my spirit. I don't want to breach. I don't want to transgress because you can hear things that can make you lose sleep. Some of you doctors have killed people before they died. Your mouths are full of transgression. Medical doctors, you kill people. Hey, hey, you are gone. <laughs> yeah. Give somebody hope and tell him believe God. Yes, this is terminal, but there's always a but. Because for everything you hear have had, have, has killed somebody, there's a man on earth who defeated it. There's a man who fell from a 10th floor building and they survived. One fell from a fourth and died. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why don't you be among those who survive? I don't think poor. Even if money is not available in the account, I don't think I can't build the thing I destroyed. I destroyed poverty once and for all. I don't think I am sick. My body might feel things, but I don't think that I'm sick. Things might become, but I don't believe because I destroyed sickness out of my body. I don't think I can fail. The what we have is sure. If he said I can't fail, I can't fail. You will produce fruit undefiled. Your fruit will be because this show word of prophecy, the Bible says, is as a light that shines in darkness or in a dark place. That is the only when you say I can't fail, that means you've put light in a dark place. Now, can you light a light in a dark place? And darkness says, mm -hmm, I'm staying dark. It is the light that shineth in a dark place until the dead dawn, until the circumstances change. And the day star rise in your heart. The fruit of your faith is manifested. That's what it means. People like that, it, that you can never convince them. 